What's up YouTube? It's your big brother Junior here bringing another great video. And if it's your first time here guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you get notified every time I drop great videos like this one or when I go live. And trust me guys, you never want to miss a thing. Also, if you did like the video after you're done watching it, make sure you give a big old thumbs up and share the video because that helps the channel a lot. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing a very cool video. Um, a lot of people like to do stuff on their own. And one of the things people like to do when they're watching YouTube is actually build their own PC. Because it does benefit people when they build their own PC. One, you learn how to do something on your own. You take more pride into it. And two, you save a little bit of money. So, today I'm going to be doing a how-to video on how to put a PC together. I'm going to show you all the basic things you need and what you're going to need to do to put them together. Alright, I'm not going to get too, too technical. Because... Um, Every PC is different when it comes to the wiring. Um, and you got certain things that need to be plugged in, certain things that doesn't need to be plugged in. But in those cases, you can just read the manual, see where it plugs in on your motherboard from your device. It's that simple. But in this video, I will show you how to put the motherboard into the case. I'm gonna show you the case I'm gonna be using, the motherboard. I'm gonna also be showing you how to put the CPU in, how to put the coolant, the graphics card, you know, capture cards if you do have one to capture devices and stuff like that if you do use it. Um, and basically how to mount everything, how to set everything up, including with the power supply. And like I said, I'm not going to be showing you how I hook up every wire because some PCs are different from others. So it doesn't really benefit you to me to show you when you can just look at the manual, look at that. But I just want to give you a rough general look at how to put a PC together. It's very simple. Um, I'm not going to go into the BIOS and show you how to set that up. Again, that's every PC is different how you're going to set that up depending on the RAM you get, depending on the CPU you get. It depends on everything, all the parts you get. I'm just showing you a little rough general installation kit. All right. So let's go ahead, switch over to my desk where my PC is going to be, and we can start showing you everything. All right. I'll see you soon. I have my PC case here. And over here, I have all my computer parts that I'm going to be using. I'm going to show you everything I'm going to be using and we'll take it from there. Like I mentioned on my last video, um, on the previous video, uh, this is the Dark Phase V22 case. Very good airflow. We're going to go ahead and set that up. I'm going to show you all the parts I'm going to be using and then we're going to go on putting all the parts together. All right. Stay tuned. All right. So the motherboard I'm going to be using is the MSI X299 Raider. It's a ATX form factor motherboard. It does have an i7-7900 12 core uh, CPU already installed that I have put in there. It's my old CPU. Uh, this one takes about 128 gigs of RAM. So you can stick up to 16 gig sticks all through all the eight ports there. It has four PCI slots with a on PCI Express here, so you put multiple graphics cards in there if you want. Um, and this is just the motherboard. This is gonna go in here. When you work on PC, you always want to use an aesthetic wrist band on here. But since I haven't used this and it, all the static is already drained from here, I don't have to wear at this time. But if you're working on your PC and you turn just turn it off, always make sure you use the static band so you don't fry any parts on your PC. So. This is the motherboard. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this PC downwards here, open up the case, take off the glass so I don't break it and take it off. And I'm gonna lay the motherboard down. All right, I gotta screw this down. Next thing I'm going to be using is an M.2 piece, um, um, internal hard drive. This is a one terabyte, which I'm going to put in here. So it's going to be all set up for that. And then I'm also going to be using an all-in-one cooling system for my, for my CPU coolant. It is my older one. All right. So I do have an all-in-one cooling pack right here. As you see, I'm going to be installing this one. Uh, the fans are in the box. Um, this is one from, this is like a no name brand one, but it still works. I've had it for years and it works. So we're gonna put that in here too. Everything's gonna be black. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna put any RGBs in this one. 
Um, so we're gonna leave it like that. Like I said, I have regular, I actually have, oh, they, these are little used ones because they're a little dirty, but these are coarse air fans, non-RGB. So we're gonna put these in there as well. And with the M.2, I'm also going to be installing these two extra hard drive. This is a four terabyte, a five terabyte hard drive here. It has a bunch of software, a bunch of stuff that I have on my PC regularly. And over here is another three terabyte hard drive. This is where I keep all my games. I'm going to put all my games in this one. And just so it can keep the load off of the M.2. The M.2 is just strictly for important uh, softwares and my operating system so it can boot a lot faster this is just for backup so if i do something bad to these if i install something wrong on these and these go bad at least my m.2 it's secure nowhere affected so that's why i have two extra hard drives all right so as far as the power supply guys i'm going to be storing this evga 600 watt power supplies this is the 80 80 plus bronze edition so it's a good power supply the reason i didn't use it on my new build i replaced the new build i replaced my new one for my new one with a, a, a 1200 watt one because i did get the 3080 on that one and it required a lot more power than this one will but this one i'm going to put my old graphics card in there. i'm going to put my 1070 in there again it's not going to be for major major gaming that's why i got that pc for this is going to be for everything else some editing some basic stuff it's going to be a secondary pc i can do vr in here so that's good so i'm gonna be using this power supply this is good enough for what i need it for so all right so now let's get the, to the pc and start putting stuff together showed you all the parts i'm gonna be using hopefully you can come along and watch everything i do all right stay tuned all right guys i did find my graphics card this is the 1070 by gigabyte so as you see the difference is very small i still get a db port hdmi and two dvi ports so it's good enough to do vr uh, and pull dual monitors and everything but then again i can't push big games like call of duty i did call of duty on this before it pushed it but i had to put all the settings to the lowest as possible to run it cleanly now if i want to watch run cyberpunk it's not going to run on this i don't think it'll even even come close to even running it I'll try it when I do get everything put together and run the PC. I'll try to run Cyberpunk and see if it works, but I doubt that it'll work. But yeah, I just wanted to show you real quick before I get started that I do have my 1070 right here by Gigabyte. I'm gonna end up upgrading this later on down the future, but right now, since this is the extra part that I have, I'm gonna just use it for now. All right, perfect. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna be putting in is the power supply. I told you this is the, the 600 watt EVA 80 plus bronze edition. VGA card, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. All right, I'm gonna put it, it goes right in the bottom. So this makes it a little bit easier to put it in, so that's good. So I like how I can take it from the top with uh, with an NZXT case. Since this bottom part is closed off, I actually have to bring it, do it from the back. All right, we got that there. So this is very tight. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run these cables through the back and run them out. So when I put the motherboard, these wires are not showing, they're hidden in the back. This is to power the actual motherboard, these two clips right here. This powers up the motherboard and all the components inside of it. This is for the graphics card. So you guys know that. So this, I'm just gonna run it in the back here. I'm gonna take off the back case in this case now. As I'm doing here, removing this back case to make it easier. This right here, this area right here, this is where they put this imitation <laughs> hard drive in here, a box for a hard drive. But well, that's where the hard drive goes. I'm gonna put the four, the five terabyte one in there first. Cause that's the one I wanna use for in there. This is gonna be my main one. The other one's just a gamey one, so I'm not gonna really need it too much. So I'm gonna slide that one in like it normally would. There you go. Slide it right in, guys. Look at that. It's in there. It's not coming out. 
I could take it out by removing this plate up top, but that's fine. I'm gonna leave it like that. All right. And like I said, I'm gonna run these cables back here. One's gonna be for the motherboard and one's gonna be for the, for the CPU. So I'm gonna leave these out here and put the motherboard in. One thing I did wanna do first this plate right here is to put the plate for your um, plug so you don't have a big open space because not all plugs are the same, but the location of the plugs are always the same. And since, like I mentioned before, this is gonna be on top, remove this cover here. And right in here, right here is where the plate goes and all the plugs gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that plate in there. There you go. See, now there goes a plate, so all the plugs go right there, so I can plug it in, and I'll come out right through here. All right. I do have, this is thermal paste. This is what you put between the CPU and the cooling fan. So that will save that for later. For now, I'm gonna close up this top thing off. Just to make it easier, so I don't break it or anything. Like I mentioned before, I've already put the CPU on here. What a lot of people do is they put the bracket on here already for the, for the cooling system, which is already on here. The bracket already came on here, but they always say put the cooling in first and then put it on, it makes it easier. I don't find it easier. I always find it easier just to put this motherboard in with the CPU already in there and then put the cooling in there. So what we're gonna do is gonna turn this around, put it on the flat side like it is now, like here. Take this out and I'm gonna post it where it should go. And that's where exactly it's supposed to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws in uh, and all each point where it goes so we can make sure it's not locked down here secure and doesn't go anywhere. So give me a second. All right guys, so I did find the box of screws that I have from, from my PC stuff. I needed them because the motherboard didn't have extra screws when I put the new motherboard in. So I don't know how they expect you to put the motherboard in without any screws. So my, my new motherboard didn't come with any screws. So I used my old screws for the motherboard that I had on my old PC in there now. So thank God I bought these so many years ago and they work great. Gives me everything I need and it gives me enough to put in here. So now I'm just gonna bolt down the CPU, I mean the, the motherboard onto the, the board itself. So when, once this part is done, I can go ahead and get started by putting all the other components in. But this is one of the main components that we need to do. And thank God for this magnet, magnetic tip screwdriver. Makes life so much easier when you're doing working on computers like this. And everything is lining up perfectly, which I love. I love when everything goes in perfectly and no issues at all. I just gotta make sure that I put it one in every hole that needs to go to. So there's two more there. All right, so I got that part in. I think I got every screw in for the on. I got one more for the motherboard over here. I just noticed it. You always gotta double check all your stuff, guys, because you do one little slip up, it could be a big, big problem. So you gotta make sure you have all your screws in because the screws act like a ground as well. Oh, so I see I have another one over here too that I gotta make sure I put in. And I believe there's a total of eight screws that holds on the motherboard. I don't know if all motherboards are the same, but there's eight screws on this one so far. Just gonna check everything again, make sure all the main screws are all hooked up. And I missed you one on this side, so there's nine. So there's three, three, and three. So I got one here that I gotta put in. See, that's why you always gotta double check everything. Make sure everything's correct, so you don't mess up down the road. All right, perfect. All right. So here I got the power that goes right here 
for the CPU and then for the that remember when I told you this top button over here or this USB it has its own plug right here which is right here guys these are the plugs now all these plugs are all labeled if you guys don't know where they go my suggestion is look at the manual you don't want to second guess it if you don't know what you're doing review the manual and check each plug where it goes I'm pretty good with this, so I know where all the plugs go. So I just want to let you guys know, make sure you guys know. Because there's been times on new components that i never seen before or never used before that I had to check the manual and make sure I put it at the right spot because you don't want to mess up everything. All right, so I know where this blue, blue plug goes to. It goes to the USB port on the motherboard. So I'm going to open this up real quick. Plug this one in first. So these are all gonna go on the bottom. Since the plug is over here on this side, they already have a pre-hole right here, knowing they're gonna put all the stuff through here. So I'm just gonna run all the wires in here. And once I run it here, I'll plug everything in. And once everything's plugged in, I can, I can move the cables back and zip tie it back here. So it's all tied up and very well organized. I'm gonna pull this in here real quick so you guys can see. And actually, the motherboard one goes right down here. So I'm gonna bring this one out here. I'm gonna leave this one hanging because this is the for the graphics card. So I don't know where I'm gonna run this one in, but I know this one I have to run it like this. You see how the wire comes up here? I'm gonna have to do it like this. So I'm gonna leave this one like here. I'm gonna put the motherboard back down. Oh, I just dropped all my screws. Great, I gotta pick that up. So now, you see the motherboard plug is right here. So I'm gonna plug that in right there. So now, power is going to the, mother the motherboard. That's plugged in here. The blue cable that I told you, this one right here, will be plugged in right here. I ran it in the wrong hole. I got to run it underneath and bring it over here so it could be a, a perfect fit. So I'm going to go ahead, take all this out again, and then rerun it. So we're going to take this out, take this out here. Bring this out. And I guess everything runs on the bottom now. So this blue plug will go right there. And it's plugged in, as you can see, right there. Look at that, guys. Very simple. And boom. We'll leave it like this for now. All right, guys. So... I went ahead and connected the front panel switch, which is which right here. The CPU plug for the power, which is the other plug that I confused it with the GPU plug. That goes to another part of this power supply that's different. So that's the CPU power plug and the motherboard power plug right there. That's the USB plug there. And then over here is the audio one. So I got those connected for the front switch and on the board. So now all I gotta do now is connect all my components in. And that's what we're gonna do next. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do now, since I got all the wires connected and everything, all I need to do is start putting in all my components, like I mentioned, and I'll put in my cooling in first. I'm gonna plug the cooling. The cooling is gonna go like this, or probably like this. I don't know how I'm gonna adjust it, but for now, I'm gonna put it like here, and I'm gonna have to put the screw this in. And this is pretty simple. But remember, you're like, okay, where's the fans? I'm gonna put the fans on the other side. So we're gonna plug this in first. So now I know which ones I gotta be in here. It's the same one I use for the power supply. Thank God for these all extra screws that I, I have. Or else I'd be kinda SOL.
All right, all four in. And now on this side, I'm gonna put the fans. So I'm basically gonna go ahead and put, hmm, how should I put this going in this way? Or I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this way. I'm gonna put these as intakes first and the front panel ones, I'm gonna put as exhaust. So right, once I get this all set here, or right, these are gonna go right, just like that right here. That simple guys, see how that looks? So these screws right here, cause they're gonna go through here and attach the panel on there. So I'm gonna take these, put them right through here and then right there. That's simple guys, look at that. Let me come around here so you guys not see better, but it can be better for me. And you guys are wondering, why didn't you pull down the cooling already? Reason I didn't do the cooling yet, because of the fact is I still gotta put the, the thermal paste on there. So I didn't want to do that yet. So I just wanted to put the fans in the first because it'll give me more room to put the screwdriver. So as you see right there. I could have put these fans on first. I didn't think about that, but that's okay. I'm better with my, my right hand. That fan ain't moving, and I can hide the wire wherever I want to from there. Now, again, I have the second one here. As you see, I got these extra screws here. And these are gonna be my intake ones. Actually, my exhaust. So the airflow is gonna come in like this, come out this way like that. Oh, so I don't know how you say it. it goes in this way, comes out this way, put this way. I don't know how you want to say intake or exhaust. I'm going to do this one like this with the wire. Stick. That wasn't good. Now I got to make sure I get all those screws out. But it happens. So I'm going to put this in like this first. I should really keep this off the desk. But hey, that's what happens when you're in a rush and don't do it properly. When you're building a computer, guys, take your time. There's no rush to it. Unless you only have one computer then. I, I guess you gotta be in a rush. All right, so I got all four, or I mean all two fans there. I got these screws here that I'll worry about later because these are the screws that I'm gonna use to put in my front. So I'm gonna put these to the side real quick. All right, so here is your CPU fan that you connected to your motherboard. Well, it depends how you set this up. All right, so I don't know how I wanna do this. I don't know if I wanna do it like this. I'll probably put it up here like this on top. So it's just, yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. It just seems so much easier if I do it like this. All right, so before I flip this over and take out the screws I fell in, I'm gonna unscrew this. And hopefully, I'll get the rest of them, whatever is missing. I'm just not being smart about it. All right, so what you want to do when you put the coolant, the, the thermal paste, the recommended one is a pea size um, coolant right there. Then you just put there, and then when you push it out, it goes across. People do it some, so many different ways. People do X's. Um, people do squares with an X in the middle. It all depends how you want to do it, really. As long as you know you put enough thermal paste on there, then you're fine. I'm going to do the X with a little bit of a pea on the, in the middle. To me, it just it looks it looks easy, looks better that way. It feels like it's gonna be more 
come okay so i'm i'm coming with the heat sink that comes in with the with the cooling when i bought it so as it there so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it oh sure. put in the coolant there put the pizza in the middle and i'll put a little bit on the side there to the side of there So I got all four corners and I'm gonna put a little bit more in the middle. Okay. All right. All you gotta do is make sure that none comes out on the side so it doesn't touch the board itself. If it comes out a little bit on the side, as long as it doesn't touch the board, you're fine. But that's how it should look when you put it in. I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can. And once you do that, you just basically Put the thing on top, or however you want to do it. I'm going to do it like this, to the side. Make sure you put it on correctly, because if you, once you put it on there, it's... And every time you should, every time you change this, it should be done, like, every two years, two to three years, changing the thermal paste on here. Just makes it easier. So now, I got it on there, squeeze it down, and that's it. Now you put the screws in, and you make sure it's tying down equally. So now you're all set. Every time you remove your coolant or any type of heat sink on here, you have to replace the thermal space. So you clean it off, which I already cleaned it off before starting this, I cleaned it off. So that's why you didn't see me clean it off. I cleaned it before I even started this project. But like when I took this whole setup apart, I actually took off the thermal paste at that time. Cause I didn't want to worry about it later. So you saw I got, I've got all four screws on there. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna manually screw it down tighter. But I'm gonna do it, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do it equally on each side. So it's all even with no issues. So now it's on there tight. Not coming out. Perfect, look at that. And now all you do with this wire is connect it to the CPU fan, which is listed right up here. CPU fan listed, is labeled as CPU fan, so it's actually over here. So I'm gonna bring it over here. And that's it, I'm done. And I just hide these cable, cable down here the best I can so it doesn't look so nasty. I'll fix it once I pick it up and put, I'll put the wire towards the back so it looks a little bit cleaner than what it does right now. Remember, I had these RGBs installed on my, new, on my older PC, which is actually upgraded. So I'm gonna take my old RAM that I had off there, which is 32 gigs, 16 sticks each. So there's two sticks of 32 each. I mean, 16 each, so a total of 32. I'm gonna put it on there. Like I said, normally I will just put the, I will go ahead and put the the lights in there, but I'm gonna I'm keep this light friendly. I'm not gonna put any lights in there. It's gonna be like a dark version, I guess, if you wanna call it that way. So I'm gonna put these in. And they go in one way, so you gotta make sure you put them correctly, guys. Don't try to force it in if they're not going in smoothly. And see, I put it in wrong, so that I put it in the wrong way. Boom, perfect. All right. All right. And then you look at me putting it, why are you putting one there and then one on this side? Because I'm gonna put this one over here. And you're wondering, why am I doing that? All right, because if you put it next to them, you're only gonna get single-sided uh, dim. Since this is a dual dim sticks, you have to put them in these special orders. You can read the manual on your on your motherboard how it goes. I already know which slots they go into. So it's actually one, two, three, four. If I did four, but this is two, just this one and this one over here. It's the third slot here and second slot over here. That's how I, I already knew that. All right. So now we have these two plugs. These will go on system fans. You just find the ones that said SYS fan. 
and then you just plug them in, which they're over here for me on this side. So basically I'm gonna run these to the back and I put them out and bring them out over here. I got this other fan here, but these two fans are gonna go in the front here, so. So you heard some of them fall out, some of them. Too. Some screws fell out, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna take the GP, the fans and bring them out here. Bring that's the one fan, and then I'm bringing the other fan out. I'm bringing them out the same hall just to make it easier so I know where they're at. Boom. So basically, I'm going to run these across to this side of the chip. Yeah, I'm gonna put them like this because it's the length that I need on this side. All right, I'm gonna put this right back down. Don't worry about that, guys. Okay, so now I got the two wires right here. Now I just connect them to the system fans, which are this one here. And now those two fans are there. The CPU fan is there. And I'm done for right now. And now I'm gonna put the RAM in. All right, did the RAM. Now I'm gonna do the SSD. So this is the M.2 right here. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it. It's a one terabyte. I don't know if it's a Western, is it a Western digital? No, it's a crucial SSD M.2. So this will go here. This one had, this motherboard has two slots. It has this one here and it has this one here. So you could put two SSD if you wanted to. So this one, I'm gonna put it here, which goes up here first. And then boom, you put it down and then you put the screw in and that's it. Your SSD is gonna go there. The reason I put it there, cause the graphics card goes here. And since the graphic card goes there, it's gonna go over the SSD card there. So, since I'm never gonna take this out, this is gonna be my operating system. I'm gonna leave that one there since that's a perfect place for it. And speaking of the GPU, I'm gonna put it right on top of here. So I'm gonna have to take this one out. I'm gonna take out the GPU out first here. Well, I'm gonna take out the slot for it first here. Here's your GPU, it's actually two slots here. So this one takes two slots, so I have to take out these two right here. Take them out. And then this one's gonna slide right in here. All I have to do is plug it in to the first PCI slot, find, find the screw hole and then screw them on. And that's it. That's how you connect the GPU. But when you do connect the power supply, we make sure that's the power for the GPU. You gotta make sure that one plugs into the power supply or else your GPU ain't gonna work. Cause it's gonna, it's gonna try to pull power from the motherboard and that's not gonna work properly. Believe me, I've done that problem before. <laughs> the computer will turn on, but no video picture showing. Cause there's not enough power going to the GPU. And that's how you install your GPU. All right, guys, so you see GPUs in, CPU coolers in, the RAM's in. The only thing I got left to put in, besides starting to hook everything back up, would be my um, capture card. Because of course, I'm gonna add a capture card in case I wanna do some gaming on here. And I just wanna hook up the PlayStation or hook up my Xbox, whatever I wanna hook up. So I already have a capture card. Uh, which is the black magic my old one not the eight not the 4k one the 4k one for my black magic is actually installed on my other computer and this one's the regular black magic which is this card right here so i'm going to go ahead and hook this up right here on the pci express and this only takes two plugs so i'm going to plug it in right there just to make it easier 
I'm gonna grab my screwdriver, unscrew this part here. Take that out. Take that out there. Plug it in here. And that's it. I have to just screw it down. Look at that. Look how look how lovely that looks, guys. Look at look at that. That is so lovely. Look at that. Boom. So I got my graphics card and my capture card all installed in one. And I still got three other slots to put three other things in here when I feel like it. All right, that's why I said this one's gonna be a simple one. The only thing I have to left to do is hook up the hard drive, the rest of the power cables, and the two fans in the front. I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that myself. And then once everything's done, I'll come back and show you the finished product, how it looks. All right, let's continue this. All right, guys, so as you can see, I did finish everything up. I put all the fans right here. I put three fans here for all my intake. And then the two fans for exhaust out on the coolant, for the CPU coolant. Got it all hooked up, power supply, the graphics card, the capture card, the RAM. The three fans right here are LED. So I did change my mind and I am gonna go ahead and put the LED fans in there. I am gonna put the the ram led2 um got that all set up looks pretty clean you look at it it's completely done i don't need to do anything but just power it on and run it all right for the leds on the fan i did make a custom bracket not really a custom custom i just put the button right on the top of here you're not going to be able to see but it's right here and you see it doesn't move that's how you turn on and off the the fan lights um, as you see, the graphics card is right there. And right there, you see my capture card is all lined up perfect. All the ports are right there. Everything looks clean. I just gotta run the wires whenever I do decide to connect this. And the only power wire that you're gonna see with a plug in the back will be the power cable that goes right down here. That's the only place for the power supply. So that's why it's there. And as you can see in the back where nobody can see, I have all the wires hidden here. This is the module for the LEDs for the fans, but all the wires are hidden back here so it keeps everything nice and clean. I try to tie it up as much as possible so you can't see anything, but yeah, that's pretty much it right there. And in the front, it's a blank thing here. Um, here, if you ever wanna change the fans, you pop this off and there goes the fan there. It comes with a filter, so you got a filter here, which is pretty cool. The fans are there. Put the filter back and everything's magnetic except for the front clip. The front clip is actually stuff you gotta clip in. Oh, hopefully I didn't break anything. There you go. As you see, it pops right in with no issues. And that's it guys. That is my whole complete, I'm building my PC. I know I didn't show you every, every steps, but I did show you the main components when I built this PC, I showed you when I put the motherboard in, I showed you when I put the coolant in, I showed you when I put these two fans in and one of the fans on this side, I put the capture card and I also showed you the graphics card, I put that in. I showed you the main components, I didn't show you all the wiring and everything that took a little bit longer, that's why I cut that out. But you saw how easy it was to put everything together. All the other wirings, you just gotta make sure you know what you're doing or read the manual, simple as that. All right, so let's go for my final thoughts. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I went over a lot of things. It's over half an hour of video recording, but I hope, really hope you guys learned something on this video and I was able to help you a little bit. If you didn't, I do apologize, but if you have any questions or any concerns, just put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can, all right? And if you did like the video, like I mentioned to me, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support you guys love to show the channel. Also, make sure you share the video. Help the channel out a little bit more. Simple as that. And guys, if you still haven't done so to the end of this video, make sure you guys go hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time I drop great videos or when I go live. It's always simple like that, and it helps the channel out a lot, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Until next time. This is Junior, your big brother, signing out. Peace.